Hi everyone, this is Neil, and this video will be introducing you to Shader Map 3. I'm going to open up the application, and you will see the start screen. And from the start screen, you can select um, default project setups of color texture, normal map, displacement map, and now in Shader Map 3, you can create a project using a 3D model as a source. I'm going to select color texture and select the folder icon to open up a flower image. And you see shader map is uh, automatically created a displacement map and from that displacement map a normal map, an ambient occlusion map, and a specular map. You can select the displacement map and adjust the auto edge somewhere around 25 and see the changes and if we want to see how the displacement affects the geometry when rendered in a production renderer we can just drag the displacement material from the material editor onto the geometry and we can control the displacement of the image. Shader Map 3 also comes with a normal editor. We can select any normal map and click the N icon next to it and this will send the normal map to the normal editor. In here we have a series of tools like select uh, the displacement brush, the normal brush, uh, vector brush, and we can also draw shapes. It has a fully functional layer system. I can create a displacement layer and with the displacement brush and the normals are generated from the displacement immediately. You can select the displacement layer and control the intensity of those normals generated and also select a blending mode to blend with the normals underneath. Once you're done editing your normal map you can select to return to the main interface and those changes will be visible in the material visualizer. Also new to Shader Map 3 is the ability to apply filters to any map on a stack. So I'm going to select the specular map here and you'll see this eye icon appear next to it. Select that and it will bring up the filter stack. You can apply filters um, previous to the map's generation and this will apply the filter to any inputs coming into the map or on a post filter which happens after the map has been generated. I'm going to apply a post filter by clicking the plus icon and selecting threshold filter and here you can see what I'm creating here and this is happening after the map has been generated and you can add a series of filters like blur and also adjust their order. You can add new maps to the project at any time in Shader Map 3 simply by moving your mouse over an empty cell in the project grid and clicking on the plus button. This brings up the add node to project dialog and I'll just select add albedo from diffuse and select it and here I can control the amount of shadow and highlight and view the luminance in linear and sRGB let's go back to the start screen and select 3d model and open a 3d model now this is new to shader map. It is the 3D model setup and this appears anytime that a 3D model is selected. I'm 
From here, you can set up cage meshes and define material IDs based on subsets. There are a number of maps that are automatically added to the project, such as uh, tangent space normal, uh, world space normal, and I'll just go ahead and select that. To start the, the rendering on any map that is made from a 3D model, you need to click this green button and that will start the map rendering. And you can see the world space normal map generated here. I can select the ambient occlusion map. I'm going to make some adjustments to it. Increase the size of the map. And select render. If I go over to the material visualizer, I can import the model into the material visualizer. I'm going to remove the main light and increase the ambient lighting so that we can see the ambient shadows from the, the ambient map applied. I can also double click on a material to set it up and select the world space normal map as the diffuse map so you can see how that fits onto the model. This has been an introduction to Shader Map 3. For more in-depth tutorials, keep watching these videos or visit shadermap.com docs to read the manual. Thanks.